you know, so she's new. Let's give her a comfort zone here. So I'm going to start with John this week. Uh, so, John, chill out. What is your uh, uh, awesome thing of the week? So, so my awesome thing of the week is the Gear 360 virtual reality camera. Oh. So so I tweeted about this. Yeah, you <clears> got <throat> my interest on this one, buddy. So so Samsung has, has kind of pre... Obviously, this leaked, but it's going. I, I can't imagine, based on the the attention that it's getting, it not being formally announced here in the next couple of weeks. But this is a virtual reality camera, and it's going to accompany the release of the Galaxy S7. I don't think you're going to get one of these free with every every S7 or anything, but it's going to be a device that kind of probably goes along with the Galaxy Gear, Gear VR. Um, this is more of your kind of home version there's no price yet but it does do um, a 360 degree recording via dual lenses or 180 degrees via single lens um, it can do a maximum resolution of 3840 by 1920 um, with the dual lenses or 1920 by 1920 in the single lens mode um, I think this would be kind of cool depending on the price point even if for some of the larger like kind of home renovation stuff I do, if I recorded myself in VR and then time lapsed it and you could watch from 360 degrees like me rebuild my basement or tear out my backyard or rebuild my front porch, I, I just think it would give an interesting aspect to any of those kind of mundane things that you probably wouldn't be that interested in watching me do. Right. But if you could watch me do it in 360 degrees time lapse, <laughs> that makes everything that awesome. That makes everything cool. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and so, so this is a thing that your phone goes into, much like the Gear VR kind of thing, right? And, and that, like, your, your phone is still the guts in the, in the, and the technology behind it, right? Like, this is just kind of a UFO-looking thing with a bunch of lenses, right? So they haven't fully filled in the gaps on that. I've heard that this may have onboard storage. Mm -hmm. It may complement. Here's the thing is, I find it odd that you would have to plug your phone into this. <laughs> I'm trying to figure, like, where does the phone go when I'm looking at this thing? Like, I'm guessing it, it would come down through the, through the base or something like that. Okay. And it would kind of sit below... So you don't have, because you know how when you see those 360 degree pano photos and even video, you never see, like when you look directly below, you kind of have that that gap where it can't capture. Right. Um, I'm guessing that's where, like it would, you would go. Is the top of it, to me, it looks like there's kind of a power button and the top of it's maybe a microphone built in. Um, again, this, I don't think you're going to be filming the next avengers in, in vr but, no but to me this is this is something that's that's attainable for the for the amateur at their house that wants to to take their own video recording to the next level and and kind of produce it in a, in a vr setting so if i can get my hands on one of them and or they're relatively inexpensive um I think we definitely need to, to to throw this up for for the show and see how it I've works. I've been wanting to do because um, I I've been looking at the Rico Theta cams, mm -hmm. uh, which you know they're like a three or four hundred dollar camera that does kind of the same thing, but with like two lenses basically mm -hmm. and stitches it together. Now, is it, are we talking? Is Samsung doing the still camera thing with this, or or is this like a video? Camera? It's supposed to be video. It is supposed to be video. Well, yeah. that makes things different. Um, cause I've been kind of wondering like, well, what can I do? What is the need for this? Cause I started looking at the 360 video with, uh, when I got the Google cardboard uh, a couple months ago and, and, and that really kind of got my mind going of like, okay, what can we do with this? And is anybody in Pittsburgh doing this? Right. Cause I feel like there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of stuff in Pittsburgh that I think would be really interesting in 360 degrees. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of, a lot of the, the, the scenery, a lot of the architecture, a lot of things happening in the neighborhoods, um, somebody like I was talking to somebody today about stuff happened up here in Beachview, and we talked about you know, hey, if some of the stuff that I'm hearing about, and they actually start developing stuff up here, you know, how much has East Liberty changed? What about seeing that skyline of Beachview that I see from my back porch change over time, right? But what if we just put a camera right in the middle and say, hey, this is Beachview now, and be in the middle of it, and we take a look at that five years from now? I think that's that's a that's a huge opportunity mm -hmm. for a lot of things like that. 
Um, I think the other place you'll see those being used is by real estate agents who jump oh, yeah. on that stuff oh, totally. immediately, yes. just like drones, you know, and uh, any kind of leasing offices. Anytime you want to show somebody like, what are you getting before you get it? Uh, they'll be using it. Really anything that you want people to be there, right? Like, right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can see, I can think more and more like, what is it like to be ringside at a at a at a wrestling show? Mm-hmm. Like especially for a small indie or something, right? And, and especially if it's something that I imagine this would become a more affordable way to do that, right? Um, you know, I can see just kind of taking one of these cameras and putting them on a post like at that corner right by the entrance ramp at the one show, and 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 having that thing happen, and you know, seeing seeing just everything that happens and all the moving parts, and, and the fans going crazy, and probably playing with the camera, to be quite honest, um, you know, something like that, or on on like the post, you know, or something like we've been wanting to do with a, a GoPro camera. Um, there's a lot of possibilities, and and the more accessible this becomes, the more uh, we can get out there and do some creative things. It's better than GoPro solution, right? With the uh, the YouTube jump idea, mm-hmm. that was, geez, what what was that? That was like several thousand dollars at that point um at least five thousand i think but inaccessible for most people mm-hmm. right and uh unless you, unless you have the right thing that somebody really wants to do and putting the money for it what will be interesting and i hope they kind of figure out how they're going to do this is they need a way and maybe they can do it through youtube they need a way to give you a place to kind of put this so other people can then see it right but then also not only see it if you own Galaxy Gear VR. Right. Well, don't they have that on YouTube, though? Because you do. can go in, you can see things, and you can use your mouse to you look around. You can use your mouse to kind of right. look around. So, And I think Star Wars did that with one of their videos. The video was extremely low quality, but it did work. Well, the, the one that they had on card or, or the one they had on Facebook? The one they had on Facebook okay. was also released. Like, I actually picked... I, didn't, I noticed it on Facebook first. Yeah. And then... It, I think YouTube may have picked it up, but it was also on Galaxy Gear VR's VR app. Mm-hmm. So I could watch it via the Gear VR, but the quality was it was rough, bad. I noticed that how low quality it is. Like on a 5S, <clears throat> I was I did I did all the uh, the Star Wars app, Google VR stuff, mm-hmm. um, and super super low res. Really cool to be kind of in the scenes, especially having just seen the movie uh, when I was when I was playing with it. You know, just seeing me. Uh, uh, you know, I actually left Big Hero Six on just so I know where the TV was, so I wouldn't get lost in my living room because um, I was standing up. Uh, but you know, it, it's a uh, there's it, a lot of yeah, there's definitely a lot of opportunity there, and 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 this seems to be coming more accessible quicker. You know, I mean, if if something like all of these Ricoh Theta cams and this Samsung VR thing uh, pops up um, around the time when we can actually buy Oculus Oculus Rifts and whatever the next uh, the Google cardboard iteration could be um, that. I mean, even just have that to say, Hey, everybody can get a cardboard and do this. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what they're doing in schools. Right. Um, I think that's a really, really cool space to be in. Let's see, let's see what's going to happen from there. So awesome. Go check that out. Terry, what's your awesome thing of the week? My awesome thing of the week. Um, so it's 